Hello again, St. John's family and friends. This is Pastor Brady, and this is our midweek devotion and prayer time together for Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021. Well, now that we're in summer, now we're in these warmer months, I hope a lot of you are getting outdoors and getting to do some of those activities again that maybe you didn't feel as comfortable doing last summer, especially in a crowd. Uh, you know, you get, it's great to see the kids able to play ball again. Um, it's great to see people out taking hikes, out going kayaking and boating, going on summer trips and vacations. But what comes along with all those summer activities so often is little bumps and bruises, um, little scrapes, sometimes a little more serious injuries. So it's always good to have a first aid kit with you, you know, back at your house, uh, maybe you're out in the garden and you get a little injury, uh, planting or mulching or, or doing landscaping. Maybe you, look, you get a little injury mowing the yard. You know, you have that first aid kit in the house. It's good to have one in your car when you're traveling, when you go places. And, you know, we have all kinds of bandages, band-aids that we can slap on for those little cuts. When it's more serious of an injury, we might have to go to the emergency room or the doctor and, and get stitches. You know, we can mend a lot of those little physical wounds that we get from an outdoor activity in the warm months. You know, we can mend a lot of our physical injuries. We have a lot of medicines to help heal our diseases and treatments for more serious illnesses. You know, science and technology and, and medicine has given us so much. But in reality, there is only one that can bring true healing to our lives. This coming Sunday, we're going to hear about that true healing, the healing of body, mind, and soul, the one that brings us back to life. That true healer is Jesus Christ. You know, in life, we can slap a lot of temporary Band-Aids on, and maybe those physical wounds heal. But so often, we're struggling with other issues, issues within, issues coming from the outside. So often our souls are being attacked by sin and evil that exists in the world. There's only one that can help us overcome, only one that can get us through the dark days and lead us in the light of God, and that is Jesus. You know, there's an old hymn, and I remember, I don't think it's in our hymnal here at St. John's, but it, it, it goes something like this. Healer of our every ill, light of our tomorrow. You know, our illness goes far beyond something we can slap a Band-Aid on or put on antibiotic ointment, far beyond what a first aid kit can fix or a trip to the doctor or even mod anything in modern medicine. The true healer is Jesus Christ, the one that truly can fix the ills of our individual lives and the ills of this world is Jesus and his grace and his love. We have to let him be our healer, the healer of our every ill. We have to allow him to be the light which shines in all of our tomorrows. Would you pray with me now? Oh, Father God, we pray for all in our church family and community as they get back to summer life. You know, hopefully a lot more exciting than last summer when the pandemic was so much more fearful when things just weren't the same. You know, we just pray that they can take those vacations and those trips and those family times and go to those games and participate in those sports and, and those outdoor activities. But at the same time, may your shield of protection be upon them as they travel, as they go outside. You know, may they be protected from physical injury, but may we also be protected by the ills of the world that seek to bring us down drive us apart, and keep us from our true healer. And may we let that true healer, which is Jesus Christ, into our hearts, and may we share his healing message of hope, grace, and light for tomorrow with all who we encounter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Get outside. Enjoy the summer. Be careful. Have your first aid kit with you, but most of all, have the healer of every ill within your heart, and that is Jesus. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. Join me Friday for our inspiration time together. May God bless you all.